Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia. Welcome back. So it is now Sunday morning, early, and I will be starting to do the stain on this on Sunday afternoon. A uh, few things that I've been doing here since the last video is I did come back in with some plaster and I added a few high points in uh, some different areas along here. That will just give it a little bit more pop uh, for you know, giving it a better 3D look. It's definitely 3D. Uh, you know, when you're standing in front of it, there's all kinds of uh, shapes and you know, different directions and angles of rock. Want it to look more like I did down there. You can kind of see those same sort of bump out areas, and that's what I'm doing over here just kind of breaks it up a little bit more, a little bit more visually interesting. So I will come back in and I will stain and I will uh, video uh, my staining of it because it really won't take that long to do. I've got everything covered with uh, the paper towels that uh, I don't want to get stained on, including the floor or the fascia. I've got my uh, stains out that I've been using. So again, I have found the varathanes do not react with the pink foam board. So that's good. It doesn't necessarily mean it won't react with some of the other stuff that's out there, but you know, trial and error and experimentation, I found that it doesn't act on it, doesn't bubble it or anything, so that's good. So what I've been using is uh, summer oak, which I've been hearing uh, that people have been having difficulty finding that. So, you know, any other stains, any colors that you like that, uh, you know, fit in with what you're doing, you know, use those. I've got enough in here to finish this layout and then that can will be depleted. You know, once I get this area done today, I'm not gonna have a whole lot left. I'll keep what I've got left for you know, doing this little piece. But then, uh, you know, next layout in the future will be something different. I also use ebony. Now, I use ebony very sparingly. Uh, you know, it's very dark stain. So I just dip the bristles in and just kind of tap it on areas where I want to have, you know, a darker piece of rock strata. And then you'll see what I do. You know, I use the other stuff and blend it in. But, uh, you know, it gives a nice effect. You just do not want to use much because that will really <laughs> darken it up fast. Now, if you're in an area that's got, you know, really, really dark rocks, you know, experiment before you put it on. But, it, you know, it, it would probably work for that. Just not the rock types that I'm doing here. And then as most of my base coat for the stain is this flagstone. It's got a nice sort of soft color. It'll dry uh, and look sort of like a, you know, an older, you know, weathered limestone, which is, you know, great or sandstone, different things like that. So that is cool, and that's good. You'll see me use that. This is basically uh, a neutral stain, just natural wood stain. I've used this in the past sort of to cut uh, some of the, uh, the stains down. I'll grab a brush full of it and just put it on. It acts sort of like water, and it'll spread the stain into different areas. So you'll see me using all of that. And then I have no particular... Um, method on this. You know, I'll start at one side and work my way across. You know, areas that tend to be raised, like those little bumps that I just added, I tend to use the uh, natural oak. It's a little darker, kind of get it out. Crevices and, you know, areas that are deeper in, I'll use a little bit more of the ebony stain just to kind of give it some highlights. And then I'll run some ebony, you know, just like, again, just do a tap and then using up the brush and just feather it into everything else along here. But this should look pretty cool when I'm done. So the only thing I've got to get ready is my trash bag for the uh, paper towels once I get them used. But that's what's gonna happen in this video. Well, let the staining begin. I've got everything set. Let's see, everything's open and ready to go. Let's have some fun here. Using just a cheap one inch disposable brush, 
be able to get all this done with it and then move on to the next.
first step is done in my process. So everything looks pretty good. I like, I like how it looks. Next, what I'll do right now is get the paper towels out, wad some up, and start doing the blotting. Just a lot of paper towels. You can already see what it's doing besides shredding the paper towel is it is highlighting the rock. It's taking some of the excess stain off so that I get more subtle variations here. And I'll pick up the uh, paper towel wads <laughs> as I go. Some of it I'll get too much off and I'll go back in and touch them up later. That's no big deal. It's a little cheaper. There we go. Not too shabby. I like how it looks. So I will let this dry. Then come back in and I will vacuum up the uh, bits of paper towel and the nubblies that I knocked off. And a little later, I'll go down here and I will do this. And then I just wait for the sculpt mold to come in and then I can uh, continue on my way but uh, doesn't take long so I'm gonna call this one good in fact it looks like uh, the time that I've been doing this I'm gonna call this video good so that's gonna be it for this one uh, fairly big area covered keep having fun on your layouts until next time okay not done with this video yet <laughs> this video segment and then one more uh, came back out Sunday afternoon, plans changed. So uh, I ended up doing a little bit more work on the layout. So I have the staining complete in and around the bridge. I'll do a little touch up here and there and uh, pull some of the nubblies out that didn't get completely stained. But this has turned out well over on this side of the layout time I get the trees in up top, ground cover, and other details added, this should be a fun place to rail fan for the uh, O-gauge, standard gauge, O-gauge, narrow gauge. Uh, won't be long, and I can turn my attention to building that bridge instead of having the uh, track dangling in the air. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm going to run the O-scale, let it go around, and just kind of see how this scene looks.